I'm here at the Tribal Arts Show in the Caravan Saraya Limited booth with um, with 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 Casey Waller, and there's some fantastic things here. He's got some beautiful things in the booth. He's got some very unusual pieces. Oh. Looking at a Turkmen piece like one I've never seen before. The Turkmen piece is also one I've never seen, and if you look carefully, you'll mm -hmm. see that it's. It's woven in one piece, just like a regular right. carpet, but it's done into three panels, and it's been carefully cut on both sides mm -hmm. here uh -huh. and over here, and they ran some leather straps through this, and it, okay. w it was a bridal saddle. So yeah, we can see right that here. Went, uh, mm -hmm. went on on a, a, a bride's horse, probably. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. though, they use camels, but this being a smaller saddle blanket. I, I don't truly believe mm -hmm. this would go on anything larger than a horse. And then there was a small box that the bride would ride on mm -hmm. that she sat in right here. And then the big jewels, the large bags like we mm -hmm. have on the bottom sure. here, would be strapped to either side uh -huh. of the uh, right of the of the camel's flanks. Camel for the right. uh, bride's dowry mm -hmm. to be carried in. And uh, this is something I bought back in the 70s, like 78 or 79, sure. just prior to the Soviet invasion in Afghanistan. We've not brought it to a show before. A Looks lot of the Turkmen dealers oftentimes see things from the late 19th century. This uh -huh. is 1880, sure. 1890, and they say, oh, that's nice, but I want something earlier. So it's getting to the point now I've had this 30 years uh -huh. that, that people are finally starting to pay attention to the nice Turkmen pieces from the late 19th century instead of the earlier. We yeah, have nice. another good Turkmen example right uh -huh. here, a, a beautiful Bashir carpet. Yep. It, uh, pardon me for getting in your way. No but, problem. Uh, this is a type of rug I've not seen in about 20 years with uh -huh. this design. I had one back in the uh, 70s. Hi there. And uh, I sent it up to Skinner in Boston. Mm -hmm. And they put it on the cover of their catalog. Okay. Uh, it's a very unusual mm -hmm. pattern. I believe it's five and a half feet long. Mm -hmm. I mean five and a half feet wide and about 12, eleven feet 12. long. Okay. Five and a half by eleven. It's a nice size. Nice uh, color. Very good colors mm -hmm. and evenly worn, mm -hmm. but low pile. Yep. But one of the most remarkable things that we have in the booth is this Samarkand Suzani. Yes. It's Let me stand back a touch for that. Yeah, the color is vivid. It's got really smashing color, Casey. And it's all vegetable, and there are 11 different mm -hmm. colors in that season. And yeah, we can get a good look at all the color. colors in here. And then when we go in close, you could see the workmanship. It's old work. Nice purples and greens and pinks and reds, multiple shades of red, and so many different. The greens are vivid. Excellent piece. How old would you guess, Casey? I'm thinking second quarter, uh -huh. 19th century, Okay. up to mid-19th century. Very nice. But uh, it has its original Russian cotton lining. Uh-huh. And original, they're always bordered in older ecot. Right. They always trim them out like this mm -hmm. is a tradition. So Russian trade cloth and ecot backing. Right, ecot trim around the edges. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And this one's particularly unique in the directional mm -hmm. uh, embroidery, and, and especially with the halogen lights on at night, the light catches it at mm -hmm. different angles. But this is one of the prettiest 19th century Suzani's that I've ever had. It's about six feet deep and almost about eight and a This is really nice. Mm -hmm. but, uh, incredible piece from mm -hmm. Samarkand. Mm -hmm. Most of them come from Bukhara yes. or Tashkent or Shah Rasaj. But this mm -hmm. is a little smaller production area, but uh -huh. a great example. Mm -hmm. We have Very nice. one, two, three, four, five, six different panels, mm -hmm. and possibly as many as four different uh, women working on this piece. So you will see different degrees of tightness in, mm -hmm. in the uh, beautiful embroidery. Wall on right. the left, mm -hmm. you see I have a very rare Lakai uh, mm -hmm. mafrosh. I right. used to think those were baby cribs, but mm -hmm. everybody insists that they're bedding bags, even though they're not right. large and wouldn't hold a lot of bedding. But they're made like a mafrosh, 
and it's in with the Lakai embroidery. Mm -hmm. And you see about one of those in maybe a thousand Lakai pieces. I mean, they're extremely rare. Mm -hmm. Most are either the square design like on the left or the five-sided shield up high on the right. Okay. But what I wanted to tell you is each and every piece in this booth is one trip to Asia. These, oh my these weren't bought in any five-year period mm -hmm. or on any one trip. I go there to buy carpets and claims. Mm -hmm. And I buy 50 to 60 carpets and claims mm -hmm. at a time. And then each time I get one little treasure piece like we see exhibited here. So this is a, a 35 year collection mm -hmm. assembled in this little 10 by 20 booth. And uh, I show these things maybe three times a year at the most. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sell five pieces, sometimes I sell 10, but slowly but surely my collection that I started in 1976 is diminishing down to you know a couple of hundred pieces. Mm -hmm. But I made 65, 66 trips oh my goodness, over a 20-year period. Uh -huh. And uh, so each one of these represents almost a separate trip. Another very unusual thing that I'll show you, mm -hmm. this little rug right here, uh -huh. this is an Avar Kaleem, I mean an Avar carpet. Right. Most of ours coming out of Dagestan mm -hmm. are the lovely flat weave kilos Absolutely. that are really long and narrow, like the piece that we've got rolled up here in the corner. So mm -hmm. everybody's seen the long and narrow of, of course. Kilos, yep. the big spider designs. But again, out of thousands of flat weaves, you might find one pile rug. And this is just one of about six that I've seen about 15 years ago but it's it's signed it's dated so, to, so and it's also we can see because you know the knots are okay we can see like one red note so it's a two layer it's a two layer construction so that you know once one part of the knots tucked up inside Harold Kashishian mentioned these two men said that these tend to be older these are some of the rarest. It's dated like about 1863. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, uh, okay. There. Yes. And uh, the fact is, it's an incredible condition. It and really I is. felt really lucky to acquire this piece. It is a magnificent piece, Casey.